So this is where I've ended up after completely sterilizing the tent, bleaching the entire system, and now starting afresh with a new crop. What I've done now is I've just kept it simple. A single of my favorite mutant tomatoes. This tomato plant, I actually got the seeds by planting an F1 hybrid. What I ended up with was two different varieties. One which was the most amazing, um, sort of like che dark cherry red cherry tomato, which has this sort of bizarre mutation in that you'll notice that the leaves are curled. That's not because of a nutrient deficiency. That is actually how these tomatoes are. These tomato plants always have curled leaves, but their tomatoes are absolutely amazing. They're so sweet and so tasty. So what I've done is I've, I've done it a little bit different with this crop. Of course, it's my famous homemade um, deep water culture system. So you'll see there that I've got the um, roots um, growing nice and white in the you know broth of nutrient. I've got a lot of air going through there. If I just sort of pan out here, you'll notice that I've actually taking a, um, one of the large air pumps, taking both outlets and actually funneling them both into the one tube. So lots and lots of air going through that water. Um, then what I've got is, of course, my um, sort of backup system. So I don't have time to keep filling this flood deep water culture system up every day because I'm working crazy hours. So what I do is I've actually got a nutrient tank down here, which has got exactly the same nutrient mix down the bottom there. And that's just pumping for 15 minutes down through this tube here, okay, and then into the top of the bucket. Then what I've got is I've actually got a um, overflow pipe on the other side of the bucket, and that's just flooding back out into the um, into the into the nutrient tank. So you know by doing this, what I actually end up with is basically sort of you know circulating what is about 50 liters of water through a um, six liter bucket. So in that case, I with a single nutrient tank here down below and a single plant, I'm really only needing to change the um, solution once every um, three or four months, which is just fantastic. Now I've got the um, 250 watt uh, CFL up there, which I'm using, and I've also supplemented it because it is a um, cool white CFL. I'm supplementing it with one of these um, 90 watt UFOs, LED, you know, mostly in the red part of the spectrum just to encourage flowering. And as you can see, I've got great flowering going on. I've been vibrating the flowers every day. And I've actually got some tomatoes down there, as you can see. They've just started coming through. I've had a bit of bud drop. I made a bit of a mistake with the nutrient solution. It was way too concentrated. So I did actually get a bit of bud drop. So you'll notice here, some of the buds are just a, a little bit tender and they do fall off. And so these ones here probably won't produce fruit, even though they were well pollinated, because I made the mistake with the nutrient. But it seems to be recovering really well. So that's it for my um, winter crop, just a single plant. I know it's not a lot, but it's quality, not quantity.